This is a story about the pollution of our rivers and beaches and billions of pounds of wasted money. Welcome to the headquarters of Thames Water, Britain's biggest water company. Like most of England's water companies, it was privatised by the Conservatives in 1989. At the time, the Tories wrote off the company's debts for the new private owners and handed the bill to us, the taxpayer. A water privatisation, I believe, will go very successfully indeed. That will go very successfully indeed. So, who owns our water? Well, there's the Abu Dhabi Sovereign Wealth Fund that owns a stake in Thames Water. And Hong Kong billionaire Li Ka Shing's CK Infrastructure Holdings, which has a majority stake in Northumbrian Water. Seven Australian companies own at least 11% of English water, while US companies are the biggest owners, controlling at least 17%. In the 34 years after privatisation, the mostly international investors who own England's 17 privatised water companies pocketed more than £57 billion in dividends. But how did they afford to pay themselves so much? Well, for a start, they borrowed a lot of cash. The water company's debts rose from zero in 1989 to £60 billion today. Meanwhile, they chronically underinvested in sewage infrastructure with the result that our rivers and beaches are polluted. Just one example. In 2021, Thames Water was fined for discharging half a million litres of raw sewage into two streams in Oxford. The sewage poured into the water for 30 hours and spread for two miles through a pub garden and past community allotments. 3,000 fish died, including perch, chub, roach, gudgeon and bullheads, some of them up to nine years old. Robert Davis from the Environment Agency witnessed the scene. He said, it was quite horrific. Sewage pollution was bank to bank and there was a foul stench of raw sewage. When we traced the source, we found a waterfall of raw sewage discharging via a pipe into the streams. Amongst the dead fish, fisheries officers observed hundreds more on the surface, suffering and gasping for oxygen. In 2022, there were over 389,000 discharges of untreated sewage into UK rivers. The UK is consistently ranked as one of the worst countries in Europe for water quality. Last year, the water companies lost 3 billion litres of water a day. And the same companies are now asking for a 40% hike in bills. And which is the leakiest company? Thames Water, of course. Now, Thames Water is teetering on the brink of collapse, but who will be on the hook if the company goes under? Will it be those international investors who racked up the debt while taking billions in dividends and piping sewage into our waterways? Or will it be us, the UK taxpayer? Over to you, Prime Minister.